on the win. Uh, I'm just wondering at what point you knew that Joe had it going and what it was like to kind of watch him have one of these special nights. Uh, I mean, early in the game, you could see that, uh, you know, us driving the basketball, collapsing the defense was going to get a few guys open shots. Um, Joe happened to be the recipient of a, of a few of those early in the game and created separation. And then we were able to pace uh, on both ends of the floor after we got it going offensively. So it was good. Good night for Joe. Good night for all of us to just play off one another and, and just make easy reads. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kyrie, the ball movement was really good for you guys early on. Joe, Joe talked a bit about the spacing before the game as being a factor. Do you look at it as, as the spacing, as the tempo you guys are playing at, as what their defense is giving you, or, or, or something else maybe? Uh, I think it's just staying disciplined uh, on that end when, when uh, you know, myself, Kay, James, or anybody's ISO and just our spacing is just important. Um, you know, a lot of teams are going to lapse, are going to collapse uh, when we drive. Uh, so we just got to be ready to, to make plays off the ball and, and be ready to shoot it or be ready to cut. Just simplify the game for one another. So um, just adjusting on the fly and just making basketball reads. Rachel Nichols, ESPN. Hey, Kai. I'm not sure if we're going to talk to you before game three. I know when you were in Boston, you always had such good things to say about the crowds there and the feeling of playing at the Garden. What do you expect now that there's going to actually be people there in the building as opposed to Last time. Uh, I mean, it's not my first time being an opponent in, in Boston. Uh, so, you know, I'm just looking forward to competing with my teammates. And, um, you know, hopefully we can just keep it strictly basketball. You know, there's no belligerence or any racism going on, subtle racism and people yelling shit from the crowd. Um, but even if it is, it's, it's part of the nature of the game. And we're just going to focus on what we can control. Is it something you've experienced in Boston before? I'm not the only one that could attest to this, but it's just, you know, it, it won't. It, <laughs> it is what it is. Oh, Brian, Mahoney. <laughs> Brian Mahoney, AP. Tyra, you ever sense frustration from the other teams when you're playing against them and, you know, in that first quarter, you know, how do we guard that many guys? They have, you know, three, you know, explosive players and they got, you know, we can't cover Joe Harris. We're covering those guys and just what it must be like for them. Yeah, no, it makes it tough uh, on the opposing team to, um, you know, just be just just to stay in, in discipline uh, defensive sets when you got Joe Harris making shots like that. You know, it creates open opportunities for us to drive. And, you know, when we're playing like that, it, Definitely makes the game a lot easier. James Herbert, CBS Sports. Hey, Kerry. I know Steve has, you know, stressed connectivity on offense all season. Obviously, 31 assists tonight is one good indicator of that. Um, how do you measure it? Like, when, when you're on the court on a night like this, like, how do you kind of know the offense is producing the way you want it to be? Uh, I think when we're just getting out in transition, uh, and, and you could just feel the momentum shifting in our hands uh, where we're getting a lot of easy plays or we're getting to the free throw line or we're getting some wide open shots or we just have plays that, uh, you know, look like they should be easily converted and we just happen to miss, uh, you know, and we just feel good. Same plays that we're running, uh, you know, in the beginning of the game, if a few of them work, we, we feel like we got a great package to, to have at the end of the game or we can pace it throughout the, the rest of the game. So when we're playing well and we're swinging the basketball, we're a lot harder to guard. Um, and then when we're getting going downhill and getting to the free throw line, being aggressive, then we're also hard to guard.